za majuu ah see yani hizo hizo movies zao zikuwa na content yani kuna vile maybe kuziko na moral lesson hivyo zingine yani zinakufunza kitu yani unaona eh tena see yani tu au kuanga juju wao wana support wana gava nini nini hivyo but sa, sometimes Kenya unapata gava i support wase wako tu unaona sasa hivyo ndo unakutanga maybe saa ili wase ili saa wase wetu wataweza kuta movie poa wanafa maybe gava wa pay support na na pia wajifunze pia pia wao wenyewe wa learn chenye inahitajika kwa majina inaitwa Enoch ama Greek kwangu ku watch movies me watch movies international juu kusema ukweli they are more live as in as in exaggeration kai za Kenya za Kenya okay zina bu and uh, as in action most as in two there is one of focus more on talking more on uh, some things in your days kuna isa za youth movies za majua duki ziangalia ziko more live hizo tu ukiangalia hizo romance kila kitu the actions iko too fine eh alafu you know what you know what they need to do to make sure that Okay personally think ni technology meleta stuff ju without technology atwezi wafikia cause movies zao the things they are using the hiyo kitu tu ina entertain sana kuliko za huko and kwa majina itwa Rafael uh, me watch movies mu prefer both ju miss mtu akuchagua mupenda ng'a parat lakini shida moja tu Kenya tuko na actors wengi lakini hatupata ngi opportunity na pata wase most of drama kawa sio high school then mabis lakini sasa zile wale sasa tunawachagua na sasa wako wako chini kiasi ndio maana wase most watachagua watasema wana day wana prefer move international ju our say wako fit na wana wanapewa opportunity kuna ma A class na B class hadi wasi wanapewa chance sisi tuna focus to A lakini si A unapata hata ni, ni wadi na A tunawacha tu wako hivi so my name is Edwin uh... I prefer watching international films because uh, most of them have a good storyline which you can follow well and the action is really good. What I mean advice in Kenyan movies yes there are many actors but hakuna watu wa kuwasponsor hakuna watu wa ku promote medium yao inafika mali short haifiki mbali so they should try expanding their boundaries to make them international in the storyline should be well presented so yeah uh, i'm shikina chabi and i prefer watching international movies uh, the reason is because they are more realistic and they don't look it like it's being acted they make it look like it's actually happening in real life so if kenyans want me to watch their movies they have to make it look real so that i can enjoy it as it happens mina ito vanessa na prefer international movies because they are more interesting, they are more realistic. Eh na easy local movies za Kenya zinafaa more realistic like ndo mtu apatie passion ya ku watch. Yeah. All right, so those were your thoughts in regards to um, the film industry. Tosh and George, a lot of people were saying I watch more of international movies, films compared to the sons of Kenya, and they give their reasons. Um, Comparison-wise, between the international film industry uh, and that of Kenya, of course, uh, they are way ahead given certain issues such as uh, the financial access, and they've been in the game longer for years. Do you ever see a time when um, Kenyans will truly come out to appreciate their own content if we are going to say um, Nairobi Half-Life is premiering and we all go crazy? We even dress up if we have to, you know. Um, do you see a point in time where that will happen, George? It has to. It has to. Because as, as, as I said earlier, it, it's even reaching a point, mm. not that even um, people in the grassroots, that they are the ones who, are, who, are, who have hunger for local content, it's the media outlets. They are, they, are, they are looking for content like crazy because they don't have enough content. So it will reach a point where they'll have to create an easier environment for people to access these things. We'll touch on media actually in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, the whole issue of 40% uh, content. Yeah. Um, but Tosh, right now, your thoughts on the international and um, <laughs> local comparison? I mean, de definitely, it's what I've been saying. Even if you listen to the to their sentiments, or oh, one said, you know, the story is, uh, the storyline is good. Mm -hmm. Another one said they have, uh, um, 
We are Basically, what they were saying is that the performance is good because they did not see. I think she said it didn't feel like they're, they're acting. acting. Oh. It feels, like it feels yeah, real. real. That is performance. You see, it's again what I was saying putting more effort in what uh, we're doing as filmmakers and making sure that we tick all the boxes. But in terms of people wanting the film, there will be Half-Life, you know, by the way, when we released it here in Kenya, we were given a week mm -hmm. because people don't watch local films. And I remember the film that launched at the same time was Batman. So you were competing with Batman. No, no Batman, I'm not Batman. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, the first people who went to watch it, they were pleasantly surprised. Mm. And that's how the f film grew. Because it was in the theaters now for seven months. After we've been given a week, they couldn't remove it. Because every time it's full, people are just flocking. We've heard about this film. So that for me is a, a, a clear sign that people want the films. But we are at an age that we have as filmmakers to do better. Tosh, was it the same response in South Africa and in, uh, in, in, in other places, maybe the, where the film showed? Yes. Uh, the first time uh, we premiered the film in Durban Film Festival. So this was the first time that I was seeing people react to the film, uh, like a lot of people watching the film. And I remember I was nervous. Um, the theater was full. It was a huge theater. And it's the most gratifying thing when people react to your film. You know, they laughed. They were sad. You know, they came out of the theater stand. And this is in Durban, this in is South in Durban, Africa. Yes. And yes. they could relate to the film that yeah. was being produced yeah. in Nairobi. Yeah. yeah, and that was the first. It had two screenings. Um, the second screening was insane. People were, because talk had, there was a buzz that there was this Kenyan film. Mm -hmm. And we had to let people also sit on the steps. Kuna kitu moja ni nataka tuongelele pia. Actually, bitu mbili, but tazika kwa statement moja. Profanity and perversion. Kuna mtu mwange about moral lesson yenye yu utoka kwa feels ama juzi ko yati kuna moral lesson. But don't you think it's the home of perversion? Another thing, profanity. Kumekuwa na films in Kenya zimekuwa zime launchiwa. And then, Zimbe received backlash from, from the church. Kuna a Kenyan film that received, received uh, backlash because it's going on about devil worshipping and worshipping of idols and stuff like that. So what's your take on profanity and perversion generally? I, I, I think, I think uh, people should stop being hypocritical because why, mbona, mbona are we so, why are we so quick to condemn a Kenyan program mm -hmm. which has bad language and yet at a movie? We, we listen to these songs every day. Ukipanda mm matatu -hmm. ya home, you listen to the lyrics. Ukifika home, there's a series you watch which probably mm -hmm. has suggestive dialogue. Exactly. So, and, and the thing, the world, the world has become a village right now. People can access these things freely. So you cannot say that at Kenya will prevent this from happening, yet people can freely access the regulations, it. Our regulations, our regulations, if it was what, kuna movies na skia, oh, due to content, gay content, sijui, nini vitu kama hizo. They are only looking at that side, yenye ni raisi kukondem because of our culture. But kuna vitu kibao sana toa shineza penda kusikia kutoka kwako. I mean, one, when we speak of moral lessons, but again, what are we talking about? Is it themes? Mm -hmm. I think from what that person said, they were talking about there's a, a lesson learned after going through the movie. You know, there's a theme they picked up, mm -hmm. and movies have themes, not necessarily to do with um, profanities. When you speak of profanities and language and sex and violence, for me, that is a classification issue mm -hmm. of age. Of course, you're not going to show uh, bad language and, and sex to underage kids, mm -hmm. you know, that's why there's a classification board. Mm -hmm. It's for them to look at the content and then say, um, uh, when you're 18, you're an adult. Yeah, it's up to you whether you want to see or not. Mm -hmm. So it should not be based on, let's ban that content because there was bad language. No, mm -hmm. you know? What is the story a distribution? River Road, you can see that you movies in Kenya, 30 bob, 20 bob, Half-Life. Mbao, kumi, yeah. nini, nini. Yani, zina uzonga baka bia jioni. Mm. Azimu na kutani na continue fanyaje kumake sure that yo, yo doyote imeye kwa mfukwenye. Ama, uh, unafukia government na usaidia kukwe kwa able to control mm. the market. Distribution. Piracy will never be controlled. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, number one. Uh, it's always going to be there. Mm -hmm. The best we can do is try to minimize it. And as changing mediums go, uh, DVDs, in my opinion, are the worst. To the moment you've given the DVD to the festival or given it to the cinemas, Kunamtu, and if it's a hot cake, Kunamtu mm -hmm. um, Maybe this new world of streaming and locking the film in a platform that you can only watch it and not download, maybe that, that is a future. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to, to deal with it, but it's, it's painful. You know, they will sell it for 30 bucks because they didn't make it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's free money for them. Mm -hmm. Vernacular films. Mm. Do we have a future in that uh, industry? Yes, we do. Yes, we yeah. do. Once I, once I think it's, 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 it's a good thing mm. that is not okay. But there's this just, I think, if put simple thing, if people put subtitles in those films, mm -hmm. in a yeah, exactly, yeah. you'll feel closer to someone from another tribe. Utaelewa, even you'll, you'll find interest in diverse cultures. It will mm -hmm. bring people together. So I think it 